Pro. So your strum was down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Don't lose that basic feel. And then I'll go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So now I'm muting in certain parts. So down, mute, up, up, mute, mute. And that's on every chord. Totally respectable to do it that way. But then you can add down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And then you could kind of get a bit more creative. Down, down. I actually didn't want to get creative. I just wanted to do the same thing over and over now and do it. So that's probably what I do. So in I think the only way I'd get creative is sometimes not doing the chickas. Sometimes doing your strum and sometimes like every second one or something. Yeah. Um, this bit as well. Now when I'm doing all of that, I just did it with the pick then, but it's fingers same. Thing. I'm going. I'm trying to only hit these three, and they're really quiet. So without the mute, that's how quiet they are. If you're finding that things are still ringing out too much, you can put your thumb over the top a bit like I'm doing here as well. Cool. That's awesome.